<laughs> Welcome to another Health and Selena YouTube workout. Today we're going to do upper body. <laughs> she hated that. <laughs> so we're going to be targeting the pecs, the shoulders, the back. It's all going to get a go. You need light weights or you could use cans of beans or soup. I've got dumbbells here today. You'll also need a band. It can either be a mini band like this or a long band. It doesn't need to be in a loop like this. Whatever band you've got lying around will work. So first we're gonna warm up. Good girl, Arilla. <laughs> we're just gonna start with some arm circles. You wanna try and create a little bit of tension in those arms, so rather than just kind of flopping them about, really try and squeeze the shoulder blades together at the back, bring them together at the front. Change directions, just warming up the shoulders here, getting a bit of blood flowing to the joints, getting as much movement as we can. One more. Nice, we're gonna go from that into an inchworm with shoulder taps. So roll it down, walk your hands forwards into a plank. You're gonna do two shoulder taps. Right hand to left shoulder, left hand to right shoulder, and then roll back up again. We're gonna repeat that three more times. Forwards, tap, tap, and up. Bend your knees as much as you need to, to be able to put your hands down on the ground. Tap, tap. Roll one more time. Lovely, we've warmed up our shoulders, our chest, now we're gonna warm up our back. So this is where you need your band. I'm gonna use the mini band first and I'll use the long band next time. You're going to put it across. So I've got my left foot forwards, I've got the band in my right hand, I put it underneath my foot, I pull my elbow up nice and high. I'm using my left hand to keep me nice and supported. You can come all the way down onto your forearm if you like. Really trying to pull your elbow up nice and high at the back. Feel that squeeze between the shoulder blades. Two more. And then changing sides, taking that over to my left hand and my right foot. Hand or elbow on my thigh. And pull and squeeze. Pull and squeeze, warming up the upper back. Trying to make sure you're not bending that working wrist. One more. Nice. We're gonna go through that one more time, back to our arm circles. I'm just doing about four or five of these in each direction. And change. One more. Nice. We're gonna do our inchworm. This time I'm gonna do it with a twist rather than a tap. Roll it down. Twist to the left. Twist to the right. Walk back in. If you prefer to do the shoulder taps that we did last time, you can. I like the twist because I can really feel a stretch through my chest. Really feel like I'm warming my pecs up. Two more. We've got one to go. We're gonna work through each set twice today. I'll give you a good all over, but it won't take too long. If you wanna make it harder, you can do another set of each at the end, or you get out on a lower body workout. Then we're onto our rows. So this time I'm gonna use my long band. Same principle, but this time I'm folding it in half. I put it underneath my foot. I'm still going across my body. If you wanna make it harder, you reach further down the band. So I've got some loose at the end here. If you wanna make it easier, you can hold on right to the end of the bands. It's a bit easy for me. Five. And 
and one. Changing sides, under the foot, right in the middle. Grabbing onto the ends or a bit further down. Hand or elbow on the supporting leg. Pulling that elbow up nice and high. This one's a bit harder, there's more resistance in this band. If anyone's got a doubled over one, you'll definitely be able to feel it a little bit more. Two to go. And rest, nice work. Warm up done, I hope your arms are feeling ready. Because we're going to go into tricep dips next. So I'm gonna use my box that I've got here, but if you're at home, just use a dining table chair, a nice sturdy surface. When we do our tricep dips, the closer your feet are to the box, the easier it's going to be. Because in this position, your legs can support your arms quite a lot. So if you wanna make it harder, you can go legs further out, or you can even do straight legs, toes up. We're going to do four more of these. I'm aiming for 10. If your arms get tired, feel free to rest. Just do as many as you can. Good job. Give it a shake. Next, we're going to come into a Superman. And this is where we're going to use our light weights or our cans of soup or beans. We're going to work our lower back and upper back at the same time. So lying down on your tummy, arms out in front. You're going to lift up, pull to your shoulders, stretch back and lower. Lift, squeeze the upper back, stretch and lower. Again, I'm gonna aim for 10. Really feeling it in the upper back as I pull and squeeze my shoulder blades together. Feeling it in the lower back as I lift my legs up. It's a hard one if you're fatiguing. You can always put your weights down and do it without weights. Or you could even use your band that you had earlier. Two to go. Last one. Nice work, stretch back. Stretch it back out the other way. Next, we've got commando planks. These are pretty challenging, so you can do them on your knees if you need to. I see a lot of people mucking these up and they keep their hands in the same position and they go down and up onto their elbows without moving their hands. But the idea is that your hands go out and in underneath your shoulders. We're gonna aim for five on each side. Try it on your toes, drop down to your knees if you get tired. Nice straight line with your body. Out and in. Forearms and hands. Forearms and hands. One more on that side. And now I change, I'm gonna go down on my left first. Up on my left, down on my left. In and out, in and out. And rest. Good work. Give your arms a shake. We're going to go back through those three exercises one more time. Back to our tricep dips. Choosing your level of difficulty, in or out. Here we go, 10 reps. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work. You should feel that underneath the arm. It's a beautiful flubby bit that we all have. Going into our rows now, I'm gonna show you how you can do it with a band. So I'm gonna bring the band down and put it around my forearms like this. Same starting position, arms out in front. Lift, pull the band to the back of your head and down. Really working the shoulder mobility more so with the band than when we had the dumbbells. If this feels too easy, 
you can swap back, swap back to your cans or dumbbells. Last one, hold it up, squeeze, little good lift, and lower. Good work, stretch back. Let's do one more lot of commandos. Remember, you've got the option of knees if you need it. I'm gonna start on my left this, uh, this time around, change it up, and left, in, One more on this side, other side, right, in, last one, and rest, good job. Give your arms a shake and have a drink. We're going to have a quick breather. We're going to do shoulders first for this round. So you can either use your cans again, if that's what you've got, or you might be able to go up to a slightly heavier weight for this next one. So, arms gonna go out to the side, front and down. Side, front, down. If you're looking at me from the side, you'll notice my arms aren't actually all the way out. They're slightly in front of me even in as I start, that's because my elbows are slightly bent. We bend our joints, both legs and arms, when we're lifting weights, so that you feel the work in the muscles, not in the tendons. We're not trying to work in here. We're trying to work our shoulders. We're gonna do three more. Three and in, two and in. One and in, nice. Actually, keep those weights. We're gonna do a double bent over row here. So, the beginning position is important. You wanna have your knees slightly bent, leaning forwards as if you're in a deadlift position. My back is nice and flat. And then from here, I'm gonna pull the arms up. So it's really similar to the single arm banded row that we did in our warm up except now we've got dumbbells and we're doing both arms at the same time. This is one that you might be able to do with something heavier. If you've got kettlebells or heavier dumbbells at home, feel like you're trying to get your elbows to touch behind your back. It's not going to happen, <laughs> but that's the feeling that you want. Pull and squeeze, pull and squeeze. Last one, nice. Our last exercise, we will repeat these three, but the last exercise in this set is a wide and narrow push-up. Now, wide push-ups are easier than normal, but narrow push-ups are harder than normal. When we do our wide push-ups, we're gonna turn our fingers out to the sides. When we do our narrow push-ups, we're gonna bring them straight in, trying to bring our body in between our arms. I'm gonna do them all on my knees today but you could do them on your toes if you want more of a challenge. Nose to floor, bring it in. Chest down, bring it out. Nose to floor, bring it in. Keep going. We're halfway. Really squeeze your elbows in as you do those tricep push-ups. Body right in between the arms. Problem with talking while I'm exercising, I've lost count. This is our last one, or so I say. <laughs> you can give your wrists a little stretch out if they're feeling tight. We're gonna go through those one more time. We're gonna do our shoulder circles in the opposite direction this time. So we're gonna go front first, then out to the side like this. Front, side, down, front, side, down. You can always change up 
your shoulder raises by changing the position of your hands. You can do it with your thumbs up or you can even do it with your thumbs down. That's a real challenge. Good shoulder mobility and you can really feel that back, that pull at the back of your delt. Up to you. Original. Thumbs up. Last one, thumbs down. Your choice. You could change each set if you wanted. Keep those, I always go to put them down. Bent over rows, one more time. Feet hip width apart, bend the knees, poke your bottom out, hang the arms down, eyes at the floor. Try and pull your hands all the way up to your ribs. Squeeze your shoulder blades together behind you. Remember that feeling of trying to get your elbows to touch behind your back. This is four, we're going to do 12. Pull and squeeze. Nice flat back, make sure you're poking your bottom right out. We don't want any rainbow backs. Draw your belly button in nice and tight. You're working your core here as well as your back. Four, squeeze. Three, pull. Almost there. Last one. Relax. One exercise to go. Wide, narrow push-ups. Challenge yourself to really squeeze those arms in for our narrow tricep push-ups. Fingers out, here we go. Nose to floor, chest to floor. Nose to floor, chest to floor. That's five and six, four to go, two of each. Home stretch, out, all the way down and in. Squeeze the elbows back. Nice, let's go straight into a tricep stretch. Arm over the top, push your other hand down. This will stretch out from the tricep dips and tricep push-ups that we've done. And changing sides. So like I said, if you want to work your upper body even more than what we've just done, I would go through the two working sets one more time each. Pull your arm across. Stretch out from the rows. And the best stretch that you can do for your pecs is stand up in a doorway and then keep your feet together and lean through the door. I don't have a door here, so I'm just gonna put my hand up on the wall and twist away. But this is to get that stretch in the front of your pec. You've done really well today. If you feel like your arms are done, but you don't wanna stop the workout here, take a look on the YouTube page and try and find a lower body workout. And then you'll have done a full body session today. Good work.